Hey, welcome back, guys. Now, this is going to be part two of the in-depth tutorial for Grammar Police. I'm assuming you already have it installed, and I'm assuming you already kind of know how it works. And also, your microphone is working. If not, make sure you go back and watch part one, where I go into in-depth tutorial for how to install Grammar Police, how to get your microphone working, and all those things. But this is going to be part two for the people that already got it installed, and they just want to customize this bad boy. So let's get into it customization that's why you're here right you want to learn how to, to modify grammar police to make it really cool so i'm guessing you've already got grammar police all set up you got it to understand you but you want to customize this thing so we're going to go straight into it it's real uh, imperative that you go into the grammar folder that is inside your grammar police which is inside your lspd fire folder and then you need to pick the folder of your choosing whichever one that you chose uh, for your custom config it has to match if it doesn't match, it won't work. So for me, I use generic, but if you use California, immersive or met, make sure you dive into those folders and not the generic. Hopefully that makes sense. So we're going to dive into the generic folder. You're going to see a custom folder, which is uh, if you, it'll have another folder in here, which will make sense in just a moment. I promise. Uh, these are all empty. There's nothing here in commands. There's nothing here. So the reason why, there's a reason for that. And the way Opus 49 has got this set up, is that if he uh, you know, updates Grammar Police, he doesn't want to overwrite your files. It makes sense, right? So if he updates Grammar Police and you uh, throw your files in there, you don't have to worry about it, uh, you know, overwriting you know, your files uh, because uh, it's only going to overwrite the default ones. And so that leads me into how do you get the files from the default into the custom accurately? So the best way to do this is go into default. You're going to see a lot of actions. So if you open actions, you're going to see a bunch of things we'll talk about it in just a moment. And then if you back it up, you're going to see uh, commands and you're going to see several commands. So this is uh, probably not the best way, but I found it personally to uh, fit my play style is to copy everything over to these folders and then you can modify them as you see fit. And the cool thing is, if you, you don't have to modify everything, you can modify the, the ones that you that you want, and you can go step by step to each uh, command or action, whichever you find necessary. So we're going to back up. And remember, we're in the default folder, guys. So if you go to actions, this is what I would do. Left control A, copy the entire thing. Right click, and we're going to copy. So we copy the entire default actions. Back it up. Back it one more time. And now let's go to custom. Remember, we're under actions. So go to custom, this is your custom folder under generic, for example. And we're going to open this. And when we go to actions, nothing's there yet. But if you right click and you paste it, now they're all there. Now you may ask, well, you know, what is the purpose of this? Well, the purpose of this is we're in the custom folder. We're going to be modifying these. And the ones that we don't modify, it stays the same anyway, right? So we need to go back up and we need to get the commands. Remember, this folder is empty. So we need to back up one more time. Make sure you're in the default folder. Remember, this is the uh, grammar police folder and this is the generic folder of that folder. Hopefully that makes sense. And we're going to go to default. And then now we're going to go to commands. Commands. And there's not a lot of files here, but we're going to left control A. And then we're going to right click and we're going to copy. And now we're going to back up. Back up one more time. Make sure you go into your custom. Make sure you're only modifying in your custom and go to commands. Remember, we just did actions, commands, right click, paste, or you could do left control V, same thing. So the cool thing about having a custom folder is that we've already got everything pasted in there and now we can modify the hell out of it. And uh, it will still feed off the default folder as well because it'll just recognize it being default. But the cool thing is you're not going to be really touching the normal default ones, which I'll explain in just a moment, but you're going to be modifying it to maybe work better for you and something even cooler, right? So we're under the custom folder. Remember a generic custom, make sure you're custom, not default. We're going to go to the actions. Let's have some fun. Let's go to the actions and you're going to see all these different actions, you know, and you're going to ask yourself, well, how does Benzo get it to respond? Like if you say requesting deputy Karen and then a female officer shows up, well, I'm going to show you how to do it. So uh, the accept feature, uh, we can go ahead and go to this. By the way, you're going to need Notepad++ or a XML file editor. So my advice, go to Google, type in Notepad++, and then uh, it'll it's free on the internet, and you will be able to open it just like I do. 
All right, here's a cool one. Let's do air. Okay, so if you go into air, remember we're under uh, the actions. Okay, we're in the actions. So you're requesting something. So you're requesting air support. You're requesting an air unit. But let's change this. Uh, but let's leave these alone because uh, uh, Grammar Police is going to understand these anyway. So leave these alone. Let's add our own in here. This is where the customization becomes fun. Uh, copy this. See this right here? Go ahead and uh, go like this and copy this code. Left control C. Uh, click right here at the end of this code. And then hold down your shift key, press your enter key, and notice it's perfectly lined up. I want you to do left control V, or you can do right click paste. And you notice it says the same thing, but that's only because you want the code to look a lot alike, or you want it to look identical uh, to the one above it. So I think something that sounds kind of cool, I was watching something on um, a body cam episode on police activity, I think it was. And they use the term in, in LA, they use this a lot, and they'll say airship. So airship. So if you say requesting airship, they will respond with an air unit, which is kind of cool, right? Um, you can put anything you want here, guys. Um, as long as it probably doesn't say the word code anything, because grammar place sometimes gets mixed up a little bit. So I wouldn't use the word code in front of anything, like if you say code airship or something weird like that. Um, you can say, hey, you could do this. So requesting eyes in the sky, they'll send out an air unit. Pretty cool, right? And then you save it. And uh, you can say uh, animal, okay? And remember, you can change this to anything you want. I remember you copied the last one, right? So uh, left shift, enter. We'll get you below that. Left control V. And remember, we don't care about what this says yet. Now we're gonna change it. Because see, we got the, uh, the, the string correct. So it's going to send an animal control, like, an, like a vet, basically, you know, to your location. Uh, you can request a lot of different things here. How about this one? Cujo response team. <laughs> yeah, some of you guys are too young, but there's a movie called Cujo, right? So, uh, but here's the thing is that you remember a grammar place, uh, you know, uh, has to understand you. So sometimes you have to purposely misspell words in order for it to understand you. So you may consider doing uh, Cujo or uh, Ku like this. See what I'm saying? It, so you, have to, you have to think like a computer, guys. Uh, you, you've heard it before. I mean, sometimes you say something through speech to text and it doesn't understand you. It thinks it understood you, but it'll top out what it thinks that it heard. So if you say Cujo response team, it'll send out an animal control. So I'm, I'm curious to see if it works. Okay, we're gonna keep moving on down here. Uh, the only thing I was gonna point out real fast is uh, if you say code four, you have to be really careful. Uh, you can see right here that if you say the word four, it's gonna clear the call. So you have to be really careful saying the word four in front of anything that you type out, you know, phraseology wise. So if you are typing your own stuff out, you're customizing your files, make sure you don't say the word four in front of anything. Okay, we'll just gonna move on down. Uh, how about we do corner real fast? Uh, once again, we've already copied this string, so we're going to do a left uh, shift key and press enter and then left control V. We don't want to air unit, obviously. Uh, how about that? <laughs> Requesting bag and tag. Oh my God. How do y'all watch me? All right, let's go into felony stop backup. This is kind of a cool one right here. And uh, you can see it has right here just requesting felony stop backup. Uh, it sounds too, to me, it's just too generic. It's too generic. So we definitely want to add in something here. Uh, you could do a lot of different things. So Fresno, California, I know they use, uh, they'll say, you know, 11, C11, uh, 66. Sometimes they'll say 1166. Uh, you can probably type in 66 would work. Uh, let's do another one. Or how about this? You can always be funny a little bit, right? Requesting a yeet out of a car. <laughs> Jesus. All right, having too much fun. Let's keep going. All right, and under a female, of course, you know, we got to do it. We have to, uh, you can literally say, you know, it does not have to be, I should say grammatically correct you know, with an uppercase K. You don't have to do that. And then if you are not in the, uh, the county and then they will send a female officer to your location. How about this one? Requesting Greta Thunberg. How dare you? I'm so sorry. Okay, take it out there. And we'll move down to uh, fire, for example. 
And then, uh, you know, it sounds kind of weird to say uh, requesting fire department, but I guess you could, you could say that. Uh, the property income for this, for uh, say the fire department, would be uh, 1053. Uh, we'll go to investigating. So investigating, uh, we're going to call this something different. So in my 5M server, um, when I was on the SLRP server, we would use uh, code six. So show me code six was a uh, uh, more designed towards Fresno, California. That's what that server is based off of. But if you want to go to your own department's website, and if you live in a small city, they may not even have it, but go to a big city, whatever it is, uh, pick your own 10 codes or from that city and just go with it. Remember, this game is for you to enjoy something to, uh, free to get some enjoyment out of. It doesn't have to be taken very serious. Uh, so it's totally up to you, but you can say code six be uh, used kind of universally for at least Fresno anyway. All right, let's go to K9, for example. I'm gonna show you something kind of cool. So as you guys know that uh, Ultimate Backup has a really cool backup feature for K9. So if you're on a traffic stop, it has to recognize that you're on a traffic stop uh, for this to work, unfortunately. But this is the way it works with the game. So you can already see it's already got it here requesting K9, right? Uh, you could also do this and say, uh, let's back this up make sure the code matches by the way see that so if i a lot of my dog like one of my dog's name is django so if you seriously type in uh let's see here django if i type in django like that that is how i spell it the d silent by the way uh, it will not understand that uh, it understands this is django it does that's not a word so you need to think like a software so you have to misspell things and this is the way it works so you can say jang uh, let's see, Django. So you could do it like that. So that's how you would say it through Grammar Police. Okay, and you kind of go through here. I won't go through every single one of these, uh, but uh, there's a couple, like for example, Pet Check. Uh, one that is very universal. Uh, this sounds very generic to me, requesting Pet Check. Requesting a 1027. You can say, uh, you could do it like this, 1027. Uh, that would be an ID check, you know, for a civilian, for example. And that's a universal check. Uh, there's other, like I said before, guys, uh, other police agencies may not use uh, a 1027, but you can say 1027 like this. Uh, you can also uh, like this, and you can say just 27. Requesting a 27 sounds kind of cool, right? I'll play check. Uh, we want to definitely probably add a 10 code in here because this one here is uh, very universal. A lot of agencies will use 1028 for a plate check. So we want to say 1028. Uh, you can do it like that. And then we'll copy this and we'll paste it here. And then we'll take out the word 10. So that way you got you guys can just say requesting uh, 28. All right. And so there's a ton of these in here. Uh, like ticket number is another one uh, that we can do. Uh, we will copy that code. And then we will say uh, call instead of ID like that. It, it won't recognize that because that says call I or id. So make sure it is separated. You can capitalize, it's fine. Uh, it doesn't really matter, to be honest. But you can say call ID. So that way dispatch will actually respond to you. It'll say copy that. It'll pause for about three or four seconds and then literally respond with a ticket number, which is kind of cool. Okay, a tow. A tow is a really good one to do. So we will copy this and we're gonna say actually a 1051. 51. Uh, that's kind of a universal uh, place 10 code. 1051 for tow. Here's a good one. Uh, transport. Uh, so you could say uh, this is a request, right? So they will send a transport out to your location. So we can come down here and then we'll type out uh, requesting a PT. So let's customize this a little bit further and we're almost done. And you can always come back and add more stuff in. Remember, we're under a custom folder, we're under actions. If we back this up and then go to commands, remember we're still under the custom folder. So there's a lot of things you can come in here and manipulate, which is a lot of fun under the commands. And then here's something cool. I know I'm gonna probably get to ask this on the YouTube comments that uh, you wanna be able to say the words code four or show me code four uh, without ending the call sometimes. So if you have dispatch re uh, responding to you with a report, they're wanting to hear from you. Are, is everything okay? Is the situation normal? If you're on scene, for example, or if you're doing a traffic stop, sometimes dispatch will check in on you. It's more of an immersive setting 
you know, through Grammar Police. And so I'm gonna show you what to do here. So if you go to cancel uh, checks, okay, you'll notice that uh, this is the default. It says cancel or situation normal. So I've got something set up that I've been using for a long time that seems to be really well for me. And this is mine. So this is what I have right here. So if you wanna copy this down, you can pause this and feel free to copy this. And it works well for me. This is how I cancel the checks from dispatch where they're checking in on you about every five minutes or so. Uh, so you can say scene is code for, uh, I'm good, or I'm, I'm good, or I should say I am, my bad. I misspelled that. Uh, maybe that's my Texas accent, I don't know. But you can actually say the word code four, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a moment. So I like to say code four, because a lot of agencies will do that if dispatch is just checking in to say, all good, we're good, everything's normal. Uh, checks canceled or uh, code four is a good one. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say this is my, my original one. So if I go in here, you'll see there's not much there, but I'm gonna copy mine and we'll just do the strings and we'll go back to this one and we'll just copy this here and it seems to work. And then we need to go to the next step to make sure it works proficiently. So let's go ahead and copy this. All right, so for the code four thing, if you go to clear and you pull this up, uh, it's going to say clear me and it's going to say defaulted to code four. So that is why a lot of people get frustrated because uh, they'll respond to dispatch with code four. Well, dispatch just heard you say code four. So guess what? They're going to clear you from the call, which sucks. That means everything's just done. Everything's ended. Uh, if, it's, if you're on a call out, your call out is officially done and then things will go back to normal. So you don't want that, right? So here's mine. If you go to this is mine, you can always pause it. There's not a lot going on here. You can see the word uh, code four has been taken out. So do not have code four under clear. Otherwise they will clear you from the call. So clear me available, show me available is fine. Or clear us if you're riding with a partner, for example. So I like these, they seem to work really well for me. So we're gonna go on here and we'll just copy this. Okay, and I think the best way to do this is I'm gonna show you each one of these and I'm gonna uh, pop up the original right here. And you can see right there, that's the, um, you know, when you say the word no, or if you're trying to give the command as no or negative, I'm gonna pop up mine that I have in my original. Uh, see if there's anything different. No, there's nothing different. So we're gonna go to the next one here and I'll just be really fast. Situation normal, I'm okay. Um, if you look at mine, uh, code four is still used. Perfectly fine. Tell I dispatch know that situation is normal. So we're gonna go ahead and keep on going here. And occupied, I guess there's a bunch of stuff here. And let me see if I changed mine. Uh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Look at this. Um, you can see occupied. Uh, it's going to be, uh, you can copy mine if you'd like. Uh, you can see I have a quad bike, I have a golf cart. Uh, th this stuff I think that comes with the original. Uh, yeah, it is right there, except I added stuff at the bottom right here. Occupied two times, occupied four times, occupied uh, times four or times two times one. You get the drift. You can put that under occupied so you can modify that as well. Uh, let's see officer down. I think with mine, I just said officer shot. So feel free to add that. Uh, here's panic right here. So here's the original. So uh, code 99. It's pretty universal. Uh, shots fired. Uh, let's see if I have anything different. Yeah, give me a surge. That's kind of a cool one. If you watch the uh, Las Vegas shootings take place, uh, one of the guys on the radio, uh, probably like a sergeant or lieutenant, he said, give uh, give me a surge. That means all, all tactical units, everybody that can uh, form on one spot and, you know, meet up and they're about to go in. So he says, give me a surge, which is kind of cool. And I'll play the recording right here. Multiple or a break, give me a surge. So if you say, give me a surge, uh, they'll send, uh, you know, it'll do a panic alarm or a panic uh, button press. And then I put surge and I put gunshots. So if I say shots fired, obviously that they're gonna do the panic uh, button anyway. Or if I say gunshots, uh, it'll probably do that too. Uh, here's the preface. Uh, that some people may have problems with. If you say the word dispatch, she'll respond. And I had this question asked on YouTube, how do you change her name? Well, you can always change it. 
for preface for dispatch. And this is mine right here. And I just put control. So we say that a lot uh, on the SLRP server. Uh, they said that a lot, you know, control, control, show me control, control, be advised. You know what I mean? So that's a preface for the dispatch name. So you can say dispatch or you can say control, whichever you can add that in up to you. Uh, here's the priority tone. Uh, it's going to be right here, by the way, uh, priority tone. And uh, this is a, uh, remember this is in the command uh, for the custom folder right here. And then here's mine. I added uh, hold the air, which is really cool. I love doing that. Say dispatch, hold the air, dispatch. And also I can end it too by saying clear the air, same thing. It'll do the priority tone either way. It'll turn it on or turn it off. So I decided to bring mine over. Uh, this is what it looks like. Um, I think most of these are gonna be the same as yours. And so here's status, uh, show this, this is something I probably added in here. Uh, we are, and also the word uh, 10 would be a status uh, up to you if you wanna add that in there. A uh, taser, say taser deploy, taser has been deployed. And then under, under yes, you can say yes, affirmative copy, a firm, which is kind of cool. I like to say a firm. So uh, you make sure you copy that in there and it's just uh, a firm. You can say roll me or 10 four. That's a cool one there. I like to say that. I mean, who doesn't say that, you know, 10 four, like if she's saying something to you and then you can reply back with 10 four or a firm right here. See, see, I did this. I did a firm written all one word and then did a space firm, a firm like that. And to conclude this video, hopefully it's not too long. I have been recording for over seven hours. Okay. So would appreciate some love with a little like and a thumbs up. And I'm hoping you got some use out of today's video for deleting that off my desktop. I am dog tired. And so hopefully I earned your subscription. If you're brand new to the channel, uh, I'm sure most people that are watching this video, you've been watching me for a long time. Uh, you know the drill guys help a brother out i am tired as fudge except the other word because i don't want to get you know flagged on youtube but thank you guys i do appreciate it and i finally got the tutorial done it only took 10 months just 10 months that's all been promising guys it's out you guys take care we'll see you in the next patrol stay safe thank you for watching benzo's youtube channel be sure to drop a like comment and subscribe if you're new Benzo uploads often, so stay tuned for the next episode.